to Profit Passion Fruit Farming and today we're gonna be covering on the last video finally we have come to an end of this series of uh, diseases and pests in passion fruit farming and as I'm completing we are looking at the diseases that affect the vines so one of the diseases that affect vi vines is Fusarium wilt Fusarium wilt is one of the diseases like a good example is this one the vine here has been affected by Fusarium wilt. First, the signs are you first see uh, brown uh, or yellow leaves, then started growth, and uh, of course, if there are flowers, they don't mature up or they fall. So, one of the way to control this disease is that you have to uproot and dispose away from the farm. It is a soil borne disease so if you don't uproot from the root it might spread to the others if you consider look for example here we are having this vine this vine was same day planted with the same as this one so you can see there is because of this disease it has a started growth it has not grown as well as this vine here so that's one of the greatest disease so for this one you have to uproot you have to uproot so, uh, so after disposing now the second disease that uh, that affect the vine is a uh, brown spot brown spot for like this case we have it affect the whole it may affect a branch of a vine or the whole vine so for example we have like these leaves if you call, you look at these leaves you can see these are brown spots brown so they affect they can also affect the stem or the vine itself the veins so you can see brown spots also on the vein so th this uh, this vine is affected the whole vine it, it is being affected the whole vine not a branch so for this you have to control to control number one you have either to cut the whole branch or you can treat with some chemicals it is treatable so i can spray with appropriate chemical to control the brown spot disease so in this uh, vine i will not have to cut the whole vine i will just have to spray because it has some fruits for example it is producing flowers and half fruits so you just need to spray for the third disease is septoria spot in septoria spot in my farm it is not affected by septoria spot but i can show some images of other farms so you can check here these are the images so under those images you can see is a brown spot with some black dots that's the signs that you can know it is affected so when you want to control that you can use appropriate uh chemical to control and also you can either cut the part that is affected or the branch that is affected so that's the way you can control uh, septoria uh, we have disease number four that affect uh, passion fruit vine uh, we have dry bark or rb R rb virus so uh, the differences between RB virus and uh, the names or the dry bark. Dry bark mostly affect old vines. When an old vine, not a young one. So whereas RB virus affect a young vine. So mostly, uh, the only way you can control if it's an old vine, you can uh, cut the affected vine or affected branch if it's a branch you can cut a branch or if it's the, the whole vine you have to like uproot it and dispose it so those are uh, those are the four diseases that mostly affect passion fruit so the vine of a passion fruit uh, we look at the pest that affect the vine so we have number one drips drips affect mostly the uh, the new buds the new buds or the new suckers the new suckers that are coming out
to become a fruit so they affect mostly the edge or the soft part of the vine so we also have drips and uh, spider mites they both affect those areas mostly commonly affect those areas to control them you can use a pesticide that is appropriate sometimes we use alpha those are some of the examples or uh, we also have fabcomic and others but due to different locations we don't i don't really recommend because some countries have different names uh so those are two main diseases that affect the this part the soft part of the vine the other pest that affect our vines is we have a miare bug miare bug affect but in my case i don't have those affection because i have managed to control them or prevent them through some chemicals so you can uh, see the or when you want to know the signs that it is affected or your vine is affected you'll see whitish whitish under the reefs or the the veins so you'll see them attacking that you see the whitish uh, uh male bug and then we also have a, a, a affection of uh, or affected another pest is aphids so aphids affect the reefs so they affect the reefs so you just see that uh, the reefs have not spread well so you know that is the effect uh, that's the signs of aphids affect so to control them use our uh, appropriate pesticides so thank you for watching subscribe and also uh, share with your friends